Hello everyone, this is Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm here in Paris attending Samsung's global TV launch event and what is exciting is that they have launched a new line of TV that is more pitched towards lifestyle rather than outright picture quality. Uh, it is called Frame Television. The whole concept comes from the philosophy that people only watch televisions for four hours a day but for the rest of the time, about 20 hours, the TV is switched off and not being used optimally for the home. So what Samsung has actually thought up is to repurpose the television as a picture gallery frame. If I'm honest with you, the first time I actually walked into this room and was shown around, I couldn't even tell which one is a real picture frame and which one is the television because they all look so similar. What Samsung has done is to optimize the brightness of the display such that it is not overly bright and give you the impression that it is a television. It gives you the optimal brightness to simulate art and also there's a matte finishing in front of the screen to try and keep reflections down to a minimum. So this is what Samsung has done. The frame television will come in two sizes, namely 55 inch and 65 inch. After speaking to some Samsung executives, unfortunately they won't be using QLED technology on these frame televisions. They will only be using SUHD technology from the years before. And the reason is because the company wanted to keep the cost down to be affordable for consumer. It is not going to be the last word in terms of picture quality, but it is going to be pitched as a lifestyle kind of an accessory, so to speak, for people who want to integrate the television better into their living room. There are many options that they can actually choose from. There are three different bezels that you can actually choose from. Uh, there's a walnut color, there's a oak wood color, and there's a white color bezel. And in the future, Samsung will be adding even more customizable bezels that you can actually tag on to the screen itself. And in terms of the usability factor, what Samsung has done is to implement a motion sensor on the television. It will slowly dim over time, but let's say if you start walking into the room, it will just gradually creep up to its own optimal brightness. And to prevent your pet, such as your cat or your dog, actually triggering off the motion sensor, the motion sensor actually operates at eye level so that you know your animals walking around won't be triggered off the motion sensor. So it's an interesting concept from Samsung and it showcases the philosophy where this company is heading. They are looking beyond picture quality already from what we can tell and they are extending into a lifestyle, more design philosophy and this extends to their QLED range as well. Although they are stressing their picture quality a lot, what they are actually trying to pitch is that it's a more all-in-one kind of a solution that has the smart TV function, that has integration, the One Connect box. One thing that I forgot to mention about the TV is that it comes with the invisible optical cable that comes with a QLED television so that you can integrate it better within your home environment and also the no gap wall mount that is found on the Q9 series so that you can actually place the display flush to the wall without any gaps whatsoever. And the QLED will obviously come with the invisible cable as well and also the no gap wall mount and we've been given a list price in the UK so the list price for the smallest Q7F series will be £2,000 uh, 49 inch uh, Q7F will be £2,000 with the top end 65 inch Q9F series going up to £4,900 they are certainly pitching directly against the OLED level whether the consumers will be willing to accept their concept of their new QLED television being the next innovation in television an entirely new product category time will tell this is Vincent Thiel here reporting from Paris